Moving on to our final topic for this week's episode. We want to talk about this because we didn't have an opportunity to talk about this last week. This came out Saturday night. Probably the biggest news around the NFL outside of the Super Bowl. Matthew Stafford and Jared Goff have been traded. They've swapped team, exchanged franchises. So Jared Goff is now a Detroit Lion. Matthew Stafford now an L.A. Ram. How did this happen? Let's first start off with uh, what they gave up, what each team gave up. So the Lions give up Matthew Stafford. Jared Goff has been traded to the Lions as well as a first-round pick, two first-round picks on top of that, and a third-rounder. So the Rams paid a pretty big bargain to acquire Matthew Stafford, which you would think to yourself, all right, Stafford, yeah, physically, he might be more talented than Jared Goff, but is it really that big of a difference between the talent level that you would give up two first-round picks, a third-rounder, and another player on top of that to the Detroit Lions in exchange for Matthew Stafford? I don't know what they're thinking was. Maybe the market was just tough and a lot of teams were interested in Matthew Stafford. As a matter of fact, uh, if we want to talk about that, Carolina was one of those teams. It's come out that Carolina wanted to trade and acquire for Matthew Stafford, but they were willing to pay the same amount of price for Matthew Stafford. The Rams, it seemed like at the end, wanted to pay a little bit more to acquire him. Let's talk about the stat line for the 2020 season for each of these quarterbacks. Stafford, 4,084 yards passing, 26 passing touchdowns, 10 interceptions. Pretty solid for Stafford. Goff, 3,900 yards passing, 20 passing touchdowns, 13 interceptions. Not so much for Goff, but he's only two seasons removed from that 32 yard or that 32 passing touchdown season that he had that led the Rams to the Super Bowl. So not that far off as far as Jared Goff goes as far as talent. Could get back to that level. It remains to be seen. McVeigh and Stafford already excited about this opportunity. They celebrated the next day in Mexico. But the Colts, the 49ers, we mentioned Carolina, Washington football team as well, were also interested in acquiring Matthew Stafford. The Rams, at the end of the day, paid the biggest bargain, like we said, and acquired Stafford at the end of the day. Let's talk a little bit about Jared Goff and his uh, new team, the Detroit Lions. First, leaving the LA Rams, this kind of came out of nowhere in the last month or two. It came out that Sean McVay was non-committal on Jared Goff being the starting quarterback, according to multiple sources, and the Rams were ready to move on. I don't know where that came from. I think Goff is a good quarterback. Can he be a franchise quarterback? I mean, if I had to lean towards a yes or a no, I'm probably leaning towards yes, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were to move on from him in a couple years. But the Rams were not committal. They believe that they can do much more damage with Stafford, and they move on with Jared Goff, who came out and said that the feeling is mutual, that he wants to be with a team that wants him there, and the relationship with the Rams did not end well at all. If you're a Detroit Lions fan, I would be excited this all started with this new leadership that came in with the general, general manager, the new front office, with Dan Campbell now being the head coach. A lot of people are talking about, who the heck is Dan Campbell? If you followed the NFL for five years, you know who Dan Campbell is. was the interim head coach for the Miami Dolphins when Joe Philbin was fired. Brings a different level of energy just because he is a former player. And you can tell when you watch his press conference and the energy that he had for the Detroit Lions. Brings in... Uh, a great coaching staff on top of him because the energy that he has uh, in that press conference and how he's uh, a motivator and a player's coach, a lot of different coaches want to coach with them, including Deuce Staley, a favorite to be the Philadelphia Eagles head coach, the running backs coach, who was a former player. People believed and players wanted him to be the head coach of the Philadelphia Eagles, but when that didn't work out with the Philadelphia Eagles, higher brass, I don't know what they're thinking. They did not want Deuce Staley to be the head coach. He requests to be uh, let go of his contract and move on to a different team, and he chose to sign with the Lions because he believes in what Dan Campbell and the head brass in Detroit wants to do within that organization. On top of that, you have two more first-round picks, uh, another third-rounder, and you have potentially what could be your quarterback of the future. I like your options, Detroit. I really do, and I'm excited for the future. Who won this trade between the Rams and the Lions? If I had to choose, I believe it's the Lions that won the trade in the long term, but the Rams wanted to make the trade for the short term. They wanted an addition at quarterback, an upgrade, and Stafford because they believe that they are a Super Bowl contender with that defense. They have that little bit of window still open that they can make it back to the Super Bowl, and they believe that Stafford was the guy to help lead them to the Super Bowl. 
But for the Lions, as far as the long term goes, listen, if it doesn't work out with Jared Goff, guess what? It's okay. It's perfectly fine because you have two additional first round picks in the next two years that you can spend on another franchise quarterback. You could also spend one of those, if it works out with Jared Goff, on a receiver for Jared Goff. Devontae Smith is not out of the question this year for the Detroit Lions. You can spend it on some defensive pieces as well. For the Lions, in long term, I love it. I really, really do, and I'm excited for you guys if you're a fan of the Detroit Lions. Short term, let's see if the Rams can make it to the Super Bowl, because if they don't in 2021, that window that they had when they last made it to the Super Bowls in 2018, slowly but surely, it's closing. Let's see what's going to happen between those two quarterbacks and those two franchises. But leave your comments down below. Do you feel like that the Lions won this trade? And if so, are you excited for the future for the Detroit Lions and for the Rams? If you're a Rams fan or if you believe that the Rams won this trade, what do you expect out of Matthew Stafford? Do you believe with this offense with Cooper Cup, Robert Woods, uh, Tyler Higby, and, and Cam Akers with the run game that they have, that this offense could be Super Bowl contenders in 2021? Leave your comments down below.